The NDP leader Tom Mulcair took a break from campaigning today. As most of the polls show, he is in a tight three-way race with the Liberals and the Tories. The risk for both Mulcair and Trudeau is that they split the vote, and Stephen Harper ends up winning again, which raises the question of how many Canadians will vote strategically just to keep the Tories out of power. Eric Sorensen is looking into that tonight. Eric? Donna, we know the polls are tight, and from those, Laurier University's latest seat projection show that the NDP right now would win 128 seats, the Conservatives 121, the Liberals 86. But in the key battleground, Ontario, the Conservatives would take 54 seats, the Liberals 38, the NDP 29. In other words, even as the Conservative poll numbers have dropped, their efficiency, riding by riding, means that they could win the election. Spadina, Fort York is a new Toronto riding, an area that definitely swings Liberal and NDP. Adam Vaughan is the star incumbent for the Liberals, but if Tom Mulcair is to form government, he needs to win ridings like this. He's recruited his own star, Olivia Chow, out of retirement. The one area of agreement, the wish to defeat Stephen Harper. You're here for the same reason that I am, to make change happen. They're not alone. A new Ipsos survey finds 63% of Canadian voters would support the Liberals and NDP cooperating together to form a government to prevent the Conservatives from governing again. 36% would oppose that arrangement. There's a huge appetite for change on its own, a desire to change the current administration. And so people are looking at options. One group is recruiting voters online to identify candidates in 72 swing ridings in the country so as not to split the so-called progressive vote. Over 30,000 of us have pledged to vote for the best. The best local candidate who can defeat the Conservatives. I think that the mass execution of a, of a strategic vote uh, is very likely in this uh, coming election among progressive voters, something we haven't seen really uh, in decades. I want my candidate. Singer Rafi is among those encouraging progressives to vote together. But that's easier said than done. What is your number, Mr. Trudeau? As the recent First debate showed, we'll there is no love loss between the NDP I and Liberals. Patriotism. You have an answer. Uh, the question and in is, this Toronto riding, there's no unity on how to beat Stephen Harper. Tom O'Care, the NDP, is the party, is the leader. Telling people why Justin Trudeau needs to be the next Prime Minister. Here, the progressive candidates will fight tooth and nail to beat each other. Cooperation will have to wait. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.